hello guys uh, this is frankness I'm back today with another video so today I want to demonstrate how you can compute a Travis or you can uh, do a field uh, Travis calculation so I have uh, a coordinate file on the screen and I'm going to show you my general observation file for that control network so a Travis is just uh, a control uh, network uh, of points which you want to calculate the coordinates for so first you have to orient uh, with two points uh, the first one for check uh, the first one for the orientation then the second one for the check then you do your back and forward observations uh, throughout the network so in today's tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the coordinates of those control Points. but before we do that make sure to subscribe and like the video and also don't forget to comment so that I know uh, what you guys think of this video if you have any questions you can just uh, uh, comment then I know uh, what you guys uh, would want me to make so I have uh, a coordinate file on the screen uh, this was uh, a Travis that we did uh, in Kariba so I'm going to show you the general observation file so you go to topographical then general observation file so this is the general observation file so as you can see that uh, with uh, this Travis uh, our first our first setup station was on a non point then we oriented uh, with another non point then we observed it to our control point then the observed control point does not have uh, coordinates yet so if you set your machine uh, at that point that means uh, you have to have a uh, code zero one so you can check uh, with my video where I explained how to create uh, this general observation file so with this general observation file now I can compute uh, the coordinates of P2, P3, P4, P5 here, P6 up until to P10. So P10, so from P2 to P10, these are our control points that we want to calculate the coordinates for. Then uh, we have T4, we have T1 and T3, these are non points as well as uh, KPP1 and uh, a point called gate so in order to calculate now the coordinates you have to go to general here uh, this allows you to access uh, the traversing uh, calculation so if you see here we have a uh, field traverse calculations or if you're using this version of SEPAC you can see this icon here it's field traverse calculation but for most of you, I'm going to use uh, the general, then I go to field traverse calculation. So if you click uh, that, you will be brought to this page. So you see a list of setup uh, points here, then you can also see the observed point. So for each setup, you see the observed point. So now we started uh, our traverse on a point called gate. So if I click this point, we get the mean orientation correction at that point because we have oriented with KPP1. But at this point again, we observed to P2. Now we want to calculate the coordinates of P2. So if you double click P2 here, you can see the coordinates. So let me do this. Right. So now that uh, we are now at uh, setup station P2, uh, you see the coordinates of P2 here have been calculated. Now we want to calculate the coordinates of our next point. So our next point is P3. So at this setup station at P2, you also see the mean orientation correction. So we had uh, 0 0.5 here then we have uh, 2.5 seconds which is fine so let's double click again p3 then we have uh, the coordinates of p3 
so you can see here we have setup station then we have a back orientation uh, the observed value was 189 uh, but the calculated from the coordinates is 189 so the difference should be the main orientation correction at that point so now we have uh, p the coordinates of p3 we can calculate the coordinates of p4 again so we double click here there we have p4 we have p5 p6 p7 we also have uh, p8 and uh, p9 then we have p10 then this is a non point t4 so this that was our closing point so if you double click t4 you'll be brought here so we want uh to finish off uh, the orientations so for now i'm going to ignore the adjustment so i click ignore here right okay so at t4 we observed to t1 t3 and kp p1 these are non points so we want to adjust our travel so let's click t3 then it now then t1 now then uh, kp p1 so now that we have uh, completed our traverse uh, with all the non points at the, the, uh, our closing point now we can choose maybe want to use our helmet transformation uh, or the bowditch proportional distance method or the bowditch uh, proportional delta y delta x delta z method so i'm going to use uh, the proportional distance method so you can see here this is the total traverse distance so the total traverse distance was 688 meters then we also have our closure ratio which is 1 is to 13,150 uh, so we have our traverse mix closure here uh, it seems like we have uh, 5.2 centimeters which is fine because uh, uh, what this means it means that for every 13 kilometers you'll be lost by one meter so which is fine because we have uh, uh, instances where we have uh, 1 is to 5,000, 1 is to 5 kilometers. So 1 is to 13 kilometers is very much accurate. So that's why we have a misclosure of 5.2 centimeters uh, on a distance of uh, 688 uh, meters. So which is fine. So from here you can say adjust Travis. So let's adjust our Travis. So once you've adjusted your Travis uh, all the points are adjusted so these are the coordinates the final coordinates of our control points so you see here uh, the misclosure and the closure ratio and the traverse, traverse distance so that's how you compute a traverse and uh, we want to print our traverse so that we can maybe print it to hard copy so you say print traverse here so our Travis is printed so we can move this key all the points so we have this one so let's uh, export it to let's say an ask file so you click here so let's save it at our desktop so let's say let's call it Travis Sorry, Travis. Then uh, we want to save it as a text file. So click save. So we have uh, saved it as a text file. So I will show you guys the text file on my desktop. Right. So we also want to uh, save the Travis so that those points are added to our coordinate file. So if you click save Travis here. Right, uh, we have um, some differences with our non points in our code and file. So, here we are going to adopt uh, the current value. 
so current then okay right i think uh that was the only point so if you go back to your general here then you say coordinate file editing you can see the points uh they are already now in our coordinate file so that's how you do a traverse that's how you compute the coordinates of the point uh of all points in that network uh like we said earlier you can see how these points are related to each other so if you go to your working plan you can see how the points uh, relate so let me access my cadastral module then working plan right let me use uh, sheet number two here okay let me what does it say here all the lines that will be made no we don't want to make anything so these are the points uh you can zoom in uh let's say you have gone to plot scale so now you can pan around to see the points uh we have uh, here we have gate p1 t2 and uh, t4 uh, we also have uh, P2 here, we have P3, so these are the points of the network, so you can see the relationship from P5 to P7 to P8, uh, then went on to P9 and P10, T3 here, then also T4, I think we have T1 here, so these are the points in our coordinate file. So that's how you do uh, a traverse. That's how you calculate a traverse with a separate. So let me unload this one and let me just show you the, the text file of our traverse. So let me write this. Let's open this one. So this is the, our traverse that we have saved as a, as a text file. So again, see. Right, so that was our Travis. So that's it for today. Uh, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment, make sure to like the video, and I will see you in the next uh, video.